You alien bastards are too late this time. I've got the staff. No one's getting eaten today. Human insect, you cannot threaten us. The staff is useless if you cannot activate it. You do not know the words. That's where you're wrong, Squidly. My buddy Ash told them to me. Klaatu, Barada, Nikto. Now, this is my boomstick. No! Thanks for stopping by. Shit. Oh, yeah! I'm a f***ing rainbow. Yes, I am a rainbow. Hey, everybody, that was my lead in for my camera movement tutorial for Flipside Studio. And honestly, I missed camera movement completely when I first started doing this. I, I didn't understand and I completely missed it. And it makes a world of difference to what you can do. It allows you to pan, zoom, um, and make some really interesting shots. And I'll explain how this works really, really fast. So on the camera switcher, you've got two buttons. It, it defaults to cut and then there's move. Now, right now I'm looking at the camera in front of me. Let's go ahead and create another camera. And I'm gonna point that down to some strange angle, get my alien buddy up there looking at me. So camera here, camera here. And when I select the camera that I'm on, so you can see I'm, I'm there's the side camera right there. If I hit move, the move button, and then I press the other camera I want it to go to, you will see it. Uh, and nothing actually moves except your the point of view. And that lets you make all kinds of interesting camera shots. You can control the speed of the camera off the dashboard. So go to dashboard, go to settings, and it's right there, movement speed. There, let's pick something in the, in, in the middle here, just a little bit faster. All right, so let's try that again. We'll go off to the side. There we go. And you saw how that movement goes. It lets you zoom, it lets you pan, it lets you twist the camera. And th what you need to remember is the face of the cameras will always point, they basically draw a line from point A to point B. So if the camera's looking here, it's looking at me and looking there, it's gonna transcribe a line across there, but it's gonna continue to tilt and face me Okay, or the, the action that you have it pointed at. Let's take a look at some of these other cameras real quick and see how this, how this all works out. All right, here we are looking at two cameras that I've got set up. One is zoomed out, the other is zoomed in. And if I just go from one to the other on movement, even though they're not that far apart, I'm able to create a very slow motion type of zoom if I want to. And that's how you would do that. Now, let's go take a look at the perspective from my alien buddy up there when he was looking back at me from that scene. All right, I'm next to my big squidly alien buddy right here. The camera that I have set up for him is basically right in front of him. And if you look way down there, you can see my stand in and there's another camera next to him. You can't see it so well, but that's the that's the camera here. And then that's the one for my stand in. And I've got those framed up. And what I was going for was kind of a alien looking down and, you know, zooming in on me effect. And let's take a look and see how that goes. I'm going to cut so it just jumps right back, go to move. And if you're like, if you're not happy with the speed, you can always up that speed in the dashboard. And then you do the same thing again. A little faster, depends on the effect you're looking, looking for. All right, everybody, I'm a rainbow. That is camera movement in Flipside Studio. I hope this will help you out. If it did, please hit that like button. I can use all the friends I can get. Y'all be good. Bye now.
What'd you think? You've done better, insect. <laughs>